Yo, so somebody sent this video to me, man. I, I glanced over it, and I think that it is a lot that y'all can learn from this, bros. Like, it's, it's a lot that you can learn from this. So I ain't going to speak too much on it. We're just going to get straight into it, watching, and then I'm going to give you some game on what he did wrong and what you can do to avoid all of this in the first place, man. Hey, I need y'all to let me know if I'm tripping about something, right? Let me break it down to y'all. So I've been talking to this young woman. I've been dating her for a while, right? So, you know, me, I'm a gentleman. I like to court women appropriately. And, I, you know, I thought she was a stand-up woman. You know, she's a single mother of two kids. She's a, she's a great mom. All right. I don't know this guy at all, so I don't know his situation or none of that. But out the gate, he said she's a single mom with two kids. Now, feel free to do what you want. Feel free to date who you want. It's your life. You feel me? But I'm going to just guess that this guy might not have any kids. I don't know this to be true at all. He might... But I'm going to guess that he doesn't. It, it kind of sounds like he doesn't. He didn't mention it in the video, I don't think. Single man with no kids, entertaining or dating a woman seriously with two kids. It's a terrible idea off top. Uh, the video should have ended right there when he said he met her and she told him that she was a single mom with two kids. That should have been the end of the story. You as a man with no children, even if you do have children, you just have to understand all of the things that come with dating a woman with kids. I did a video on it. I'm not one of those single mom bashers where I bash women with kids and all of that stuff. I'm just here to, to, to give young guys the, the overall perspective when you're walking into these situations so that you know what you're dealing with from all angles and you're not blindsided or you don't have to deal with certain situations that a lot of guys deal with. So just off top, he messed up right there by saying, she was a single mom with two kids, and he still proceeded to date her seriously. Um, but let's keep watching. So if I, when I can help, I help. You know, I ain't broke. I got my own business. You know, I, I work a good job. So, I, you know, I, I used to send her, you know, $130 to get her nails done. I, I sent her lunch money, $20, $30 every other day. I mean, y'all do the math. That should add up. And I even would buy her roses, like, every week. I would buy her some roses. All right. Uh, he's messing up here as well. I, I know he's trying to paint the story of how whatever happened happened. He's trying to give you the lead up, the build up. But all I hear is him saying he made mistake after mistake after mistake. So however this ends, I hope that he's not mad at the chick for whatever the, whatever it is that she did. Because so far, all of these things that he was messing up on, these are things that he should have to hold himself accountable for. He said he was sending her money to get her hair and nails done. He was sending her lunch money for for lunch every day he was getting her flowers please know fellas and ladies too the ladies that watch my channel i'm not against treating a woman like this at all i'm not against it at all i do believe in getting your woman flowers i do believe in you know sending her money to get her hair and nails done i do believe in uh what do you say send her lunch money i even did a video about that a long time ago sending a woman us money for lunch but i do believe in all these things but where he's messing up is these are things that should be reserved for your wife or your or your girl that you locked in with if you don't if you don't want to get married whatever the case may be but these are things that should be reserved for your wife or your girl these are not things that you should be doing in the dating stages or the courting for like he tripping unless unless you just got it like that right unless you doing these things and, and it's not affecting your pockets at all, right? You just load it, right? You NBA contract level money. You feel me? So sending a chick 130 bucks ain't going to hurt you. But the majority of people are not getting NBA money or not getting NFL money or rapper money. The majority of people are not getting that. The majority of guys are not getting that. And that's who I speak to, the majority of guys. So you're not getting it like that. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be sending her money to get her hair and nails done and she not your girl this is he said this is the dating phase it's not even your girl so that's red flag number two on his part if you are doing all of these things in the beginning phases then where do we go from here you know and then also fellas y'all gotta understand bro women have to earn these things women have to earn these luxuries you should not be sending a woman money for her hair and nails just because she's a woman you should not be sending sending her flowers and getting her flowers just because she's a woman you should not be sending her money you know just because she's a woman this isn't your girl this isn't your wife and you doing all of these things for what to try and impress her maybe it's a bad investment it's a waste of money you could have spent that money on yourself you could have spent that money on, on on 
uh, furthering your education, buying a course on something, a gym membership, uh, a nice shirt. You could have spent these things on yourself. A lot of things that guys don't understand, bro, uh, especially guys that spend a lot of money on women buying gifts and giving them money and all that stuff when they don't really have it like that. Again, I'm speaking to the to the to the I'm speaking in general. I'm not speaking to the guys that are just loaded with a bunch of money. That's not who I'm referring to. My channel is for the average everyday guy. So you're spending, you spending money and sending money to these women to try and impress them. You can, you can get a lot further with women if you take that same money and invest it in yourself. Invest in yourself, bro. I'm telling you, the payoff is going to be way better and way greater. Invest it in yourself and that woman is going to want to be around you. But when you're spending money, all she's going to be looking at you as is somebody that spent money on her. Or she might take it as like, oh, this is a nice guy. But it's not guaranteeing anything. It's not guaranteeing that you're going to get to smash. It's not guaranteeing that she's going to stay around and stick with you and be with you. It doesn't guarantee nothing when you're spending all this money you're showing up a certain type of way to a, to a chick that ain't your girl. Make her earn these things. A woman should earn being taken out to nice restaurants. She should have to earn getting flowers on a regular. She should have to earn getting money sent to her to get her hair and nails done. She should have to earn these things after she's shown that she's worthy of these things. She's not worthy of them just because she's a woman. I'm sorry. I, I don't. I don't. I don't believe in that. I don't agree with that. And usually, it it leaves the guy high and dry, and he's end up being mad about it, like this guy right here. If she hasn't shown you that she's going to be appreciative of these type of things, she hasn't shown that she will hold you down no matter what. She hasn't shown you that she's a, a, of a wifey material. She hasn't shown you none of these things and you just spending money on her for no reason. You're, you got you, you're giving her an allowance. What are you doing? It's, it's, it's terror is it's hustling backwards, bro. Spend that money on yourself. Level yourself up and watch how the woman treats you then. Well, you won't have to spend a dollar on her because you actually got it. But we're going to keep watching. I would buy her some roses to put in her vase to cut them up. This is some white roses. I buy her roses. I mean, these are about $25, $30 too. But I always bought her flowers because I, all, I believe in buying a woman flowers. I believe that's to show my gratitude to the woman that I'm adoring. I took her to the H in Orlando um two weeks two weekends ago i always mind you i always we always go to a hookah bar or some you know we, we went on a lot of you know different dates always paid the tab never asked her to pay for anything we went to this steakhouse two weeks ago the tab was three hundred dollars and i bought her flowers never asked her for anything never said you had to do nothing for me that's just out of the kindness of my heart right and then it was a hurricane hell i, I brought the whole house snacks and shit bought her kids snacks they ate all my hershey bars like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never say nothing about it because I know I'm dating a mother of two kids. I know she has kids. So I have to accept her and her kids. So guess what? I did that. So yesterday we go on a date. Okay, so at least he's saying that he's understanding that he knows he's dating a woman with two kids. And he's, he's accepting of the fact that he has to do for her kids as well. This is something that is true. You're dating a woman with kids. She's going to want you to show up for her kids as well, even if they're not yours. A lot of times they'll say in the beginning, like, oh, I'm not looking for a man to take care of my kids or help me with my kids. They say that in the beginning. It comes a point where you're going to have to do something for her kids and do for her kids as if they're your own. It's just going to happen is what it is. So he's saying that he's understanding of this. He bought the whole house snacks and all that stuff. You know, when the hurricane happened, all that he's showing up for her. All of these things, they sound great. They sound great in hindsight. And women will tell you that, yes, this is what a man should be doing. They'll tell you that because they're the beneficiaries of it. So, of course, they're going to say that. Like, of course, they're saying you should buy my whole household snacks. You should send me money. And you should help me in duology. So of course, they're going to say that. But these aren't your kids. These aren't your responsibility. Please keep that in mind. Please understand that. These are not your kids. These are not your responsibility. It is not a requirement of you to take care of someone else's children. It's just not. Depending on the situation, you know, yes, things happen where... She could be widowed, you know, where the her husband and or the father of her children is no longer alive to take care of the kids. Um, so that does happen. So depending on a situation like that, it's a little bit different. But if that isn't the case, these children are not your responsibility. And the father of these children should be providing food for his children because they're his children. So 
I'm not going to hold that against him like he didn't know, but I'm just saying, again, none of this guarantees anything. It doesn't guarantee that she's going to be appreciative of, appreciative of it. It doesn't guarantee that she's going to view you a certain type of way for doing these things. A lot of these women, children or not, they're so used to just getting stuff from men because men just do it. They simp out and they just do stuff just because they're women. It's like, I'm going to just buy you and do all these things for you just because they're women. So women get so accustomed to receiving these type of things that a lot of times they're not appreciative of it. They feel like you should be doing this. They're expecting you to do these things. So they don't even show no appreciation in return. They wouldn't piss on you if you was on fire after you done did all of this stuff for them. A lot of times, I'm not saying all women, but it does happen often. They're so used to this treatment from all of these dudes out here that they like this, how you should be showing up anyway. But they don't understand certain men of value to understand they don't have to do that. And they understand that they actually have it like that. We not going for that. Right. Me spending money on you does nothing for me. It's, it, it should be a case of I do things for you just because I want to do it. And if this don't work out, I'm walking away. I'm not hopping online and bashing you and talking about these things. I understood what I signed up for. But let's keep going. Today we go on a date to see Smile too. So I told her like, um, if I'm gonna see you, I gotta see you during the week because I got a really busy week. I'm a football coach. I coach high school kids. So Fridays are, are busy for me in the weekend. I'd be tired, man. So this weekend I got a couple photo shoots because I got my own photography business. So we go to the movies, buy the tickets. So I tell her, I'm like, you know, bacon, you give me a bucket of popcorn. She like, um, yeah. So mind you, now I was joking, but I was serious. So she gave me the bucket of popcorn and she buy it. Cool. So we watched the movie. We're going home. I'm, I'm peeping her energy. Her energy is, you know, she just a little, it's just, she, she's aggravated, but she ain't saying nothing. So I'm like, okay, she'll probably tell me later. She probably didn't like the movie. So I'm driving home and so she basically was saying, hey, I wanted, you know, I had a good night with you. I enjoyed you because we, we, we always have a good time together. I'm a buy. But she was like, basically she wanted to address some things. She was basically saying if you wanted me to come out of my pocket, um, you could have let me know, but you begged me to go to the movies. So I thought you were going to pay for everything. And if, you know what I'm saying? If I had, to, if I knew I had to come out of my pockets, I would have never came. Right. So like I'm driving and I'm like, I'm looking at this shit. I'm like, bruh, I don't hold nothing over people. But at this time, I'm like, bruh, everything that I did, after I just spent $300 on you in a steakhouse. You can't buy me a, 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 a bucket of popcorn for $15 no no she can't buy you a bucket of popcorn for 15 dollars. and this is what you guys need to understand when you dating single a single mom especially a single mom with multiple children bro this is what you got to understand so he has his perspective and he has his living experience that he's currently living and then she has hers if y'all have never discussed finances you don't know what her finances are right so you showing up spending all your money because you a single man with no children. I'm assuming, not sure, but you a single man with no children. He said he's doing well for himself. So them going on $300 dates and him sending her $130 to get her hair done and all, it might not affect him as much as a woman buying a $15 popcorn. That might actually affect her pockets because she's paying all of her bills. She got two kids to take care of and all of these other things. She might not have $15 to just spend on your popcorn. Now, is it fair? No. In his eyes, he's looking like you should be able to spend fifteen dollars on me on some popcorn. But if she really didn't have it to spend like that, that would bother her. That would affect her. So you as a man have to be more conscious and aware of these things. And you have to pick up on social cues. Typically, a woman that isn't doing that well for herself, a woman that's struggling out here, she's struggling to pay her rent, struggling to pay her bills. Not even just single moms, people in general. The economy is crazy. People are struggling out here. So if you haven't been paying attention enough to the clues to see if she seems like the type of woman that just got it like that, where she can afford to spend some extra money, or she might seem like she's more of a woman that's struggling and needs some help with herself and her children. If you're not paying attention to these things as a man, that's on you. But I feel like there were probably some signs there where that showed she ain't have it like that. And yes, $15 don't sound like a lot of money, but you got to understand to somebody who's in a certain uh, position, I don't know what she does for work. You know, he would know that. But when you factor in all of these things, like, okay, she might not have the best paying job. She got to pay rent, whatever the case may be. She got to take care of these kids. She got to do all of these things, right? She might not be in a position where she can just freely spend 15 bucks. Of course, she's going to take all the money that you've given her. 
And she's going to take all the roses and the fine dining. She's going to take all of that. She's not going to reject none of that. Ain't no woman rejecting that. Especially a woman with two kids that's getting that type of treatment. She's going to be like, oh, bet. You showing up. But you can't expect her to, in turn, spend her money on you because she really might not have it like that. He should have known as soon as her energy in the car was off. He should have known it was because of that popcorn. I would have known that. That's the only thing that would have been, you know, different about how y'all been rocking. This is probably her first time having to spend some money on you. She probably ain't got it like that to spend. And if you invited her out to the movies, I get it. You feel like I done spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on you. If I actually go give me the popcorn, you should be able to do it. But you can't just make her have money. If she don't got it, she don't got it. She probably needed that $15 to, to buy some food for her kids. That could have went towards her kids or could have went towards a light bill. This is what you got to understand when you dating single moms, bro. You have, to, you have to incorporate all of these things when you're walking into it. And if you're not ready to step up and do all of this stuff, you're going to end up getting frustrated and aggravated because a lot of these single moms are really struggling to get by, bro. So I totally understand where he's coming from. But this is the norm nowadays, bro. This is the norm. They'll accept, accept, accept. They'll let you show up and spend endless amounts of money on them. But as soon as you ask them to reciprocate, as soon as you ask them to show some appreciation, they fail it. They lack it. And I'm always holding the men accountable on this channel. That's what I, I just hold the men accountable. I'm, I'm pointing out all the different flaws where you could have moved differently. She told you you had she had two kids. You got doing well for yourself with no kids. You shouldn't have entertained it. I'm, a, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to gracefully bow out, ma'am. Can't do it. Don't don't try to just smash her and leave. Like, no, leave her alone. Let her find somebody that's really going to be there for her. Show up for her. Nextly, you messed up by sending her money all the time. And she hadn't shown that she's deserving of it. She hasn't shown that she's appreciative of it. You're, you're getting her flowers. She hasn't shown that she's deserving of it. You're taking her to $300 a dinner type restaurants. She hasn't shown that she's deserving of any of these things. So you have to know if this don't pan out, I can't be mad because I'm doing something that I want to do. I want to do this. So if she leave me tomorrow, I can't be mad. This is how the game go. Let's finish the rest of the video. Colors, that I'm like, that's the most ungrateful shit I've ever seen in my life. Half, first of all, we weren't even together. We're dating or was dating. Like, bro, I ain't have for this shit. I ain't got to. I ain't have to do this shit. I ain't got to buy you flowers. I ain't got to pay for your nails. I ain't got to do none of that shit. I ain't got to get your kids shit. I don't got to do that. So I'm like, that shit pissed me off when I seen it. So basically, you know, I just texted back. I sent her her money back for the popcorn. I sent her five extra dollars. Hell, and I basically was telling her like, you ain't got to never worry about me again. Like, I ain't with that ungrateful shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't. I'm a cool nigga. I don't really trip much. But one thing I can't stand is an ungrateful ass female. So I sent her her money back and I told her, I hope you and your boys have a blessed life. You ain't never got to worry about me again. So she basically then continued to go on and say, you know, she was, how was she ungrateful? Because I invited her out and, and I expected her to pay like, bro, I paid for the tickets, bro. You paid for a box of popcorn for $15, bro. Like if, if, if after all the, the thousands of dollars I spent, if I ain't worth $15, then I don't, I don't know how that's not ungrateful. Like. That's crazy as fuck, man. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping. So two things can be true at once, right? The way her response was when she said bet and her and her her response to his text message and all that, she she was showing that she was an ungrateful woman. Like the way she ended. She didn't mention anything about her finances. She didn't say that, yo, I couldn't afford to, to, to spend that money on that popcorn right now. But you also have to understand some women may be embarrassed by that. She might not want to deliver that information to him. Cause it could be embarrassing. Like he's been spending all this money on me and here I am not being able to afford to spend no money on him. I'm not saying that's the case, but that could have been the case. That could have been one of the reasons why she felt the type of way after having to do it. You have to understand, man, people in general who got money to just blow and spend, they're not going to typically react like that or act like that when they got to spend $15 on some popcorn. It's, it's like it's 15 bucks. It's nothing. And that's his perspective. He's looking at it through his lens of somebody who's doing well for themselves, who's able to spend $15 on some popcorn without it affecting his life at all. So that's the lens he's looking through it from. And he thinks that everybody should be in that same position. If she's not in a position to where she can spend $15 freely, it's going to affect her. And she's probably thinking about all the other things that that $15 could have went towards. Now her response to him bringing this up to her, that, that verifies that she is ungrateful. But what y'all got to understand, what he has to understand, and, and all the fellas watching this have to understand, bro. I, I, this is this, the biggest piece of game I'm going to give you in this video, bro. This is what you have to understand. When I say take that same money and invest it in yourself, or take that same money 
and, and, and stack it up, put it in, right? This is what you got to understand. First off, when a woman really likes you, when she really rocking with you, you don't have to do any of those things. You do not have to buy her flowers, take her on fancy restaurants, uh, send her. You don't have to do any of those things when a woman actually likes you. This is what you really need to understand. It isn't about the money always, right? We see all the times chicks having kids with, with dudes as bums, but it's just because they liked him. He wasn't able to provide her with nothing. So understand, this is not a requirement, bro. You having to spend money on a chick. It's a requirement to some chicks. You know what I'm saying? Chicks is out here tricking and all that. But we ain't talking about them. We're talking about your know, every everyday, average day-to-day -day woman. This isn't a requirement. So don't think that you have to spend money on them. You can get a, a woman that actually likes you. She'll spend $15 on a bucket of popcorn even if you haven't spent no money on her, period. If she actually vibing with you, right? Y'all first couple dates could have been on some super chill type stuff. Hitting a park getting some coffee and she might like your mental she might like how you think how you talk how you move right and then if she could tell that you a dude that's actually doing well for yourself she don't have to wonder and guess if this dude actually got it when you actually got it you have a certain level of confidence about yourself you move a certain type of way so you don't have to flaunt the fact that you're getting money you don't have to keep spending it and giving it to them for them to realize and understand like no this dude actually got it Women are very, they, they, they pay attention a lot to the details, man. They could, they could a lot of times tell a dude that's fronting and faking and pump faking, acting like he got it. Some dudes are ultimate finessers, so they get over it, get over on them, but that's not the norm. Some dudes, they can tell, like, no, this dude, he pump faking. He ain't really got it like that. And then some dudes, they can tell, this dude ain't wearing his money. He ain't showing his money, but I could tell he got it like that. I could tell by how he carry himself. This dude doing well for himself. They could tell a lot of the times. So just because you getting it don't mean you got to spend it on them, bro. Spend it on yourself, invest in yourself, keep leveling up and becoming this super dope individual, becoming a super dope man and watch. You won't have to spend no money. The more money you have, the less you'll have to spend on them because they'll understand like you really got it like that. So you hustling backwards, spending it on them, trying to show them that you have money, trying to prove to them that you have money. So you keep spending it on them and you losing money. When you could be investing in yourself, becoming a doper individual, and you won't have to spend it on it, and they're going to rock with you anyway. That's the game. So all of the red flags, I, I got to hold this dude accountable, man. He messed up every single possible way you could mess up. And then he got mad in the end when she was unappreciative of it. And sometimes it takes a, a lesson like this for you to go through. I've been through situations like this in my younger days. I've dealt with ungrateful, unappreciative women before. I wouldn't hop online and make a video about it, you know what I'm saying, because I know what I'm dealing with, but I've dealt with unappreciative women before. So sometimes you got to go through these type of situations so you can understand where you went wrong. Don't get mad at her for, for feeling a type of way about having to buy some popcorn for you after you don't spend thousands of dollars on it. Don't get mad at her. Look at, look at, reflect in the mirror. Look at what you did wrong. See the fact that you spent all this money on a chick that you wasn't even with. She wasn't even your wife. She wasn't even your girlfriend. And you spent all this money on her and she didn't want to return it with a bucket of popcorn. You messed up, bro. Hold yourself accountable, man. Look, I got a Patreon, man, where I'm giving all tons of type of game, bro. You can avoid all this type of shit. You, you, get, you can get access, direct one-on-one -on -one combos with me. I got endless game on this type of stuff. We, we hold men accountable around here. We, we leveling up to become better men overall. We not blaming women for the stuff that we doing, for the mistakes that we making. That's not what we doing around here. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, man. Share the channel. Join the Patreon. I got more videos on the way, man. Peace.